Hey everybody, it's a walker. So what are we doing today? Well, today we're going to be doing a field use review of the 5,000 milliamp hour waterproof solar power bank. Now, I think what we'll do, we're going to find ourselves a sunny spot. So we'll take a look, see what we got here. Gorgeous day, gorgeous day. But it's moving on in the day. It's already around 4, 4.35. Let's see here. Boy, these nets are relentless, I'll tell you. Totally relentless. Hey, looks like we have a clearing up ahead here. Perfect, perfect, look at that. Clearing that has um, power lines. Power company clears out a section of the woods. It'd be perfect for our solar, solar power bank. So let's get on with the review. And now the field use review of the 5,000 milliamp hour water resistant solar powered power bank. Um, first thing, a little, I always have a little background story on how I get my gear. This particular story is I got this one for Christmas. It was like 10 bucks, um, I was happy to get it. Then had a weird anomaly, so I picked up another one on eBay for, gosh, $7.80 shipped. So now I own two of them. So let's take a closer look and see what you actually get and then we'll do a little description of it. Okay, when you own this little gem on eBay, this is the one that came from eBay. And that's the um, yellow one. What do you get? Well, you get um, well, a little USB cord and a um, not that bad of, uh, of a little beaner. The one I got from for Christmas, what did it have? Well, a really crappy, even crappier little beaner. This is not really that good of one. And about the same size cord. So let's take a quick look at the features. First, up first, um, I don't believe, before we start anything, that this is actually um, waterproof. Although it might be slightly water resistant, it's I, I think it's, um, gosh, IXP4 rated or something like that. You know, it's IPX4, so, you know, but look. Hmm, right. So you, can see the, you can see the big gap right there. These don't really fit on that tight. Odds are, maybe a splash of water. That's about it, really. So let me show you what you have. You have um, you, uh, two USBs. That's a standard, and that's a, a micro. That's inlet, outlet, and another USB outlet right there. You've got um, solar panel, solar panel. Similar. This one looks a little sparser. It's listed technically as. Um, Solar panel is listed as, well, what do we got here? Five volts, 200 MAs. That implies to me that uh, it's a one watt panel. But you know, I was looking online, and these panels look, this least, they look a lot more like um, 0.8 watt, five volt, 160 MA. So, you know, but we'll go into the, in the, how the actual charging performance is a little later. Now, um, the light here, this one, you gotta kinda hold it. Light comes on, you have to hold it, light goes off. This one, you gotta double click, double click to get off. So very similar, but a little different. This one has four LEDs, one, actually five. And this one has four. I don't know if you can see or not, when it's charging, this green one goes on. 
similar thing. I think this one's red or whatever, but doesn't matter. Same idea. All right. So there's not much, not much, not, not much on the physical description here. But how does it actually work? That's the real question. So I think what we'll do, I think we'll go over the actual battery storage first. And then we'll um, go on to the solar charging. So how to determine what's the real size of the uh, battery in here. This is a lithium polymer battery. Well, it's kind of a tricky thing to actually determine the amount of energy in a battery. Um, one thing, if I open it up, I know for a fact it's probably just going to be an unmarked lithium polymer battery. So I decided what I was going to do is I was going to compare how much you can charge one of my devices with a bigger battery. This is an iPad Air 2. The battery is around, um, I think it's like 7,340 milliamp hours. So it's going to be greater than this battery. Now as a baseline, I decided I'm going to compare it to other chargers of known quantity. For instance, this is a Nikkor F1. The battery in it is a Sanyo um, 3500 milliamp hour unprotected cell, high quality cell. This is an Anchor 3200 um, milliamp hour. And this is a MyCharge all-terrain rugged power, and I believe it's 5,200 milliamp hours. Okay, Anchor, 24% increase. This is an indeed 40% increase and 23.5% increase. Now the way I did it is I did an average of four different charges at different levels. So then I just averaged them up, and that's what we got. So how did this one do in comparison? This one did, um, what do we have here? Um, 28.67% increase. This one did 32.5% increase. So, is it really um, 5,000 milliamp hours? I don't know, but it's it put down more charge than a 3,500 milliamp hour Sanyo, high quality protect, unprotected cell and it um, did more than this 3200 milliamp hour anchor. So, I mean, all in all, I'm pleased with the um, actual battery capacity, considering, you know, you can get the, this one here like $7.80. By the way, one thing, I've seen these things priced from anywhere from, dang, like $6.99 to $30. So really shop around if you want to get one. Okay, now let's go into the actual, um, solar charging capability. When charging this via solar, what I did is I put it at an angle, kind of like this, to the sun. Well, that's a little better example right there. And every, um, every few hours, I would move it, every, you know, every hour 15 or so percent. Doing that after an average of um, six to eight hours of fairly good sun, I was only able to push up this phone right here 10% by transferring the energy from there into here. That was it. And that's under ideal conditions and me doing all the right things. If I just left it in one spot and I didn't move it throughout the day, I would get 1% to 3% increase. That's not so good. Now, I do have other small options available, such as this. Um, this is a bolt. And doing the same basic thing with the bolt gave me a 30% increase on average after six to eight hours. These two solar panels are not three times the size of these panels. I believe these panels here are 0.8 watts, 5 volt, 160 MAs. So these combined must be at least two or three because it's giving me nearly three times the charge. Of course, flip side, this battery is considerably smaller than this. This is uh, listed as 2,000 milliamp hour. But if you're looking for a pure solar option beyond extreme emergency, you know, <laughs> I think it, you're, you're, you're kidding yourself if you think you're going to hang this on your pack and you're going to charge your phone. It's just not really going to happen, especially you're moving through the woods. It's just not going to do it.
so I consider the solar panel part as an emergency only type thing to give me a few minutes of talk time if I'm lucky. Also, I have no, no doubt it'll probably charge this little light pretty much forever the same way that a um, one of the solar powered walkway LED lights would. Here we are. Okay. So that's it right there. It's taking a solar charge. Let's see if I can cover up this. Um, show you. It's flashing blue. So what do we have? Um, according to this, you'll never see it in the sun. But we have. Um, at the late day sun, we've got uh, about 5 volts at 0.85 amps. Uh, it's 4.99 volts now at 0.85 amps. That's the same power I would get out of an outlet. So it's sucking down the juice pretty good from a solar uh, panel. Let's go somewhere where it's a little more shady so you can take a look at the results of it charging things and being charged. All right, moved up here in some good shade. Man, that sun was brutal out there. There we are. Now the positive side, we got shade. Negative side, we've got gnats. We will charge my cell phone. We'll see how that goes. There we go. So um, 4.97 by 0.8 let's see times the uh, amps 0.83 amps that's not bad so it's doing a good job um, doing a very good job doing this one All right. it's now taking a charge from this power bank at um, nearly nearly um, 5 volts and at uh, 0.85 amps really quick it's charging really quick now let me show you an anomaly I, I discovered now I'll show you the uh, weird little power anomaly which made me buy this one on eBay just to verify that it wasn't normal. First, these lights here shows the level of power of the lithium polymer battery. Four lights shows it nearly either full or nearly full. This one here, one light shows it nearly depleted. Here is a micro USB input standard USB output the same very similar to this one right here so let's test something out we'll plug in this into the input input is showing no voltage because it is an input after all we'll do that right here again showing no voltage now let's go over to this one here That shows 3.95 volts, which would indicate that this input is hot. Um, it's got power at the exact same level as the um, lithium polymer battery. Whereas if we go to the output, This shows um, 5.11 volts, as it should. That's the output. And this output right here shows um, 5.22 volts. A little, little uh, more powerful than that one, but um, I had a problem with that. And this is 5.06 volts. So I don't know why 
this um, micro USB input is hot why it has power if anybody knows I would sure like to find out and that's the um, strange power anomaly with this one right here so what do I think of the 5,000 milliamp solar powered power bank well I think it's an okay power bank I don't know if it is indeed you know 5,000 milliamp hours you know I don't know you know but if you get it for like under eight bucks shipped I think it's yeah, I think it's pretty good for a power bank how does it do for a um, solar charger it blows it totally blows um, I think the reason is I, I suspect this is a um, 0.8 watt solar panel and that's not exactly putting out a lot of energy from the Sun you know and I think the fantasy of having this thing there it is get way back there a little blue thing in the back there I think the fantasy of having that in my backpack and it's gonna give me all the energy I need I think it's kind of a delusion I mean doing everything I can everything I can possibly to do it right I got enough energy to move up my phone maybe 10% in a whole day of prime summer Sun you know if I don't move it directly with the Sun I get maybe 1% 2% on my backpack you know but hey for a cheap item I don't think it's that bad I don't know what the story is why I have that hot um, input I don't know what's up with that with the blue one where the where the input is actually having output of the exact voltage of the lithium polymer battery I don't know what's up with that but this one doesn't have that problem I'm not even sure if it is a problem but I've never seen that before so other than the usual quirks with inexpensive um, really dirt cheap Chinese uh, electronics I think you go over to eBay drop down eight dollars play around with it you're bound to get eight dollars of fun just playing around with it so that's about it if you like what you've seen give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button y'all have a great day I've got um, about five more miles to go and I'm out of here